except for the people that inherit the good check from their parents. <laughs> you know what they did when I had pneumonia? They put me out for four days. Without asking me. Or my wife. They didn't ask her either. They said, oh, this man is very trick. They ran a tube all the way down my throat to put your oxygen through your lungs and put you out. All I know, I woke up in a strange room after four days. I thought it was just the next day. My wife said, you said, you've been out for four days. I said, what? Anyway, uh, there's nothing we could do about it. What's over is over. And I was able to read it a little bit better. But, 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 but. Those things they put around by your penis, the catheter, and the thing they put around your anus, your butt, for you go number two, became infected. There were sores around them here because it was lazy, crazy, stupid nurses were too lazy in their job to clean me up and if I went pee or poop while I was out. They were too lazy to clean me. They got by with somehow and still got the whole paycheck. I guess they were really happy for themselves. Yeah. Who's the girl? If we don't clean it, what difference are we going to make? Thanks a lot, you stupid lazy nurses. Get overpaid. Thanks a lot. My sin went full of red botches all over my whole body. Thank God it wasn't on my face. It was on my shoulder, my tummy, my back, my leg, my penis area, my butt, all over. I had so many red spots. The wife said, no, sucks for you. I'm not going near you, which I don't blame her. Wasn't, uh, I wouldn't I have a sexual person like that myself. My chiropractor refused to see me. Said, you uh, come back after the red spots are gone. We do, and be, be infectious to some other people. Our patients might catch it. I would love to see my doctor. And skin doctors in Waukegan are scarce people. It takes months to get an appointment. They don't care how much money you got. Takes months. There's very few skin doctors in Waukegan. And Waukegan is like the biggest town in Lake County. So uh, people go to Waukegan for hospital needs and stuff like that. And for doctors. There's not that many skin doctors. They don't have, they should have a lot more than what they do. Just like uh, they have one Apple store here. Where everybody owns uh, an Apple appliance, like a, a cell phone or something like that. They have one store for one million people. You have to make an appointment to go there. It's far away, it's a long drive. And you might still have to wait one or two hours to get in there and get your cell phone fixed. You could, well, the skin doctors are walk in and they kind of, they're like that. They don't care what condition your face, your skin is in. Or what you caught when you're in an infection in the hospital. It's coming back to hurt, to hunt you. I had two series of operations of, um, with red marks all over my skin and my body. Thank God I wasn't get to get to my face. The real New York uh, a handicap case. And that hospital, my insurance paid a hundred thousand dollars, and I paid it my eighteen hundred out of my own pocket because some of the doctors thought they didn't get enough money from the insurance. And the hospital took advantage of me too, because I had insurance. They had to use people like me to pay for all those poor people that don't have insurance that they, by force, by law, to fix and take care of and get them back on their feet again. Oh well. That's the way it goes, people. First your money, then your calls. Anyway, I took enough of your time up, but, um, Sure, um, I don't want to hurt my wife. She probably needs it. Uh, if you make a few extra bucks, maybe she'll even get paid by YouTube. And wonder YouTube is not paying me until they think I'm just a person pretending to be Johnny D. Even though 
Later on, I found out my wife recorded a bunch of my videos, and she put it back on YouTube for you to show you. Isn't enough proof for YouTube to know that I am Johnny D, and not no fake? Maybe they just want to keep my money, so well, we can take it, take advantage of this sucker. We can keep his money and we'll have go out for the drinks at the bar and the restaurant and have a good time once a week with Johnny D's money. Where should we give him any money? He gets the thing for free using YouTube. Isn't that good enough for him? Who knows what those crazy people who in San Francisco or San Bon Mono, whatever it is, that their YouTube office is. Remember that lady? They didn't treat her too good either, like they treat me. No money, not one red cent. She went in there with a gun and shot two of them. Maybe I should do that. And then point that gun in my brain and, and take myself out. Because you know, you're going, to, you're going to go to prison the rest of your life. No, I won't do that. I'm not that crazy, people. Let them keep that stupid money. Let them choke on it. And that's why I bother you poor people out there. I don't expect you kids that go to school to ask mommy and daddy, so oh, can we get a dollar for you this month for allowance so we can send it to Johnny G? Because he doesn't get any paid by YouTube. I don't know, I don't spend, my kids were, I inherited from PewDiePie. He sent a bunch of children my way that still are in school. Some are in first and second grade in school. How can they afford to even send me a penny every month? They have to get their parents to give it to them. I'm not asking for you kids to send money for me. I mean, once they get out of school, graduate from high school, hopefully, and working, making a paycheck. Is it a quarter of a week? Too much to ask? Uh, Patreon is not going to go any cheaper than that, people. They got to pay their workers there, too. They have to go home and feed their family and pay, pay the rent, buy a car. They have bills, too. Not this year. Everybody has bills. Those workers at Patreon are not going to work for them. They take uh, like 10, 20 percent out of your check for their pay. So even uh, you guys are paying a dollar for them, but I'm only going to say about 80 cents of it. And a dollar a month, you know, usually four weeks and maybe a couple of days in a month for 30 days. Um, it's like a quarter a week. And you people um, know it costs a dollar twenty nine cents on iTunes to buy music there. And if you don't do it, that the scammer who's giving it to you for free is going to get even with you and put some virus on your computer. It's going to, you're going to end up paying a lot more money if you're getting all that free music. One of these days, they're going to get you. They expect some money out of you people and get their music for free on the internet. It's as much to they give the people, it's much cheaper just to buy uh, some music from item for a dollar twenty nine a piece. A dollar twenty nine for one song. And you don't even get a record anymore. You get to play it on your iTunes on your computer. Which you have to replace once in a while. Four or five, seven hundred and nine dollars thousand dollars for a new computer. Plus your computer bill once a month. And I can give you computer service for free. Even your my iPhone costs me almost sixty dollars a month for service. And uh, of course, I have probably more service than you do, guys, do, because you don't upload videos like I do. I can upload videos in three or four minutes time with the uh, high-speed uh, fiber optics that AT and T has now, and so does. Um, Infinity. Infinity never was uh, as good as they're supposed to be, even though I was paying the same bill back at the old house. They're not, they didn't, lots of times, they could take me, people who wonder why I did videos, uh, did almost in the morning, because it was quicker then. 
in the afternoon. It takes sometimes it takes you 25, 30 minutes to upload one song, and it's up charging me 125 dollars a month over to Comcast Infinity. At least over here it is expensive, over expensive apartment living in now. It gets, they get three and a half minutes, about the average time to upload a video. At least I'm getting something from 127 dollars a month. And you know, it's a nice hobby to have to sing and to have the God-given voice to do it. I enjoy doing it. Otherwise, I've been gone a long time ago, people. I'm not doing getting rich. Sure, it was my fault for listening to that scam. Oh, we're going to give you, you guys asked me last this, um, when you found out about me in December 2017. Oh, Johnny, you should make a record deal. You should get records. You're so good, you should make a record for them. And I got the three uh, offers one day, not on YouTube, but from somebody on Facebook, a stranger, a scammer. To uh, say, oh, you're so good, John. Uh, we want to make records for you so we can make a lot of money, too. We're going to give you a free record deal, John. It won't cost you a cent. And they sucked me into giving me on my password for YouTube and told me to stay off YouTube for a couple of hours. I got suckered in for all that. I meant I'm a sucker. I meant I'm not a smart computer nerd. I meant all that. But is YouTube going to punish me that for the rest of my life? They sent me, um, before you pretty pie, I only made me like, I was lucky to make a hundred bucks a year. But they, they gave me a check for $124 uh, the November before that. PewDiePie came around and rescued me from my penniest ways of singing and brought all you wonderful subscribers to my channel, the best subscribers in the whole world. I have. I get the least amount of uh, dislikes from you subscribers. And my wife makes videos with all the nice compliments that you make about my singing to you. But you gotta remember, I wait no, I think like a one hundred, one thousand, with a popular singer like Drake gets, or Lil Wayne, or Khalifa, or uh, Soup Dog, or Jay Z, or Madonna, or Nicki Minaj, Rihanna, Britney Spears. And uh, Cardi B, she's gonna come up and take men, Nicki Minaj is number one spot for women. Jeez, people like her, Cardi B. They make tons of money, Miss people. Their necklace around her neck, if they got one, it's worth maybe a billion times what my necklace is worth. Mine is cheap. My necklace only cost me $10 at a family dollar store. It looked expensive. That's why I bought it. This would look nice for your fans. It's only ten bucks, people. It's not. It's not a thousand dollar necklace or a five hundred thousand red necklace that those superstars with making the big buck like Drake can afford. I make one thousand what they make. I'm lucky. You say I'm as good as Eminem. Eminem don't mind you singing songs. He's the one that's got the big bank account. Or uh, Everyday Bro, the old guy who sings that one. He doesn't mind you people saying that I'm much better than he is. He's got the big bank account. He made his big bucks and he's happy. Let Johnny D sing my songs and get all his nice compliments and say to people that he's better, he's better than me. I don't care. I got the money to make. What does he got? He's got Red, YouTube doesn't pay him a cent. <laughs> and you guys get mad at me, you people who are out of high school, asking me, asking you for a quarter a week. That's not even a dollar twenty-nine. I should pay for one song from iTunes. And what about all that money I spent on forty-fives? I don't even know where they're at, where my wife put them. I don't care where she, maybe she threw them out. 
Those are at least a buck a piece. Well, we just the guy from the best the 45 RPM records. I still, she got, still got the record player. She thinks it's a nice looking furniture. She keeps it in right here in the family room in this expensive apartment. I don't use it. It's an antique. It's useless. Why go through all the thoughts and the records? You know, you're supposed to keep them in a folder too from getting scratched, which I don't. I just stack them up. Because I'm too lazy to put a folder back inside a folder and put it back away. And they can get scratched up, people. The music you buy on the internet, they never get scratched up. Because it really doesn't exist. It's just music and a video. Both. Well, a variety of this is audio only, of course. But it's good enough to take a look at and put your cell phone and listen to while you're driving on the road. Listen to commercials on the radio. Ten times better before than before. When I got my first car in uh, 63, it had AM. I don't even know if it had FM radio in there. I can't remember that good back then. It was a Chevy, 1954 Chevy with power glass. It's two speed forward people. <laughs> a low and regular driving. I had a friend of mine that knew pretty good the mechanic. He had to change it over six, so I had three speeds as my color. Make the car a little bit quicker and sporty to drive. You know, back when you're a teenager, you do crazy stuff like that. You gotta have a six shift to be cool. <laughs> I think uh, I think it most likely had an AM radio in there. They didn't have FM back then, even back in the. Uh, uh, I'm not going to say anything because I'll probably be mistaken. But uh, the 54 Chevy, which we bought in uh, 62 or 63, I can't remember what year it was. Uh, I think it just had an AM radio in there. And you're happy just to have that back then, people, because there was nothing else that you could get. They didn't have uh, tape for cassettes, too. And they run over and make a tape of your favorite song when it came out on the radio. I hope it gets most of it. And save it for when you go on the drive, you can take that tape with you and put it in the car and play it while you're driving down the road and enjoy some music. Nowadays, I got uh, 800 songs on my iTunes and I never even bothered turning the radio on my 2014 car, my Civic. Why and, and going through the find that one song sometimes took an hour going through all your records and all that and it could be easy to scratch them up so you have to listen to scratching you know playing back and putting that one little record down on your turntable and then setting that needle down on the record nice and carefully so you don't ruin your needle very expensive you want some phonographs but still, I was happy with that because you couldn't get anything else back there. Well, the way I got it now, it's the 800 songs to pick up and my computer in the car. I don't know why it's like the one song about that woman who's a black woman and she has a cheating husband. She's in from mind about this girlfriend going egging you know, over town. Is she going to take a man away from her? I don't know why that computer likes that song so much. I will even know that why it should like any music at all. It should make no difference to the computer. If that song comes on almost every day. I think that computer is in love with that woman. Makes my computer is. My cell phone is. The computer that little bit is iPhone cell phone. You know. There's 800 songs in there, people. I attach that to my car, mainly for the GPS in there. It goes through a screen. It's, it's like a very normal GPS. It only costs you, well, you have to have a $700 cell phone. And, but it only costs you about two or three hundred dollars for other stuff to get the buy for this, to attach it to your car, the GPS system, in the 2014 Honda Civic. And, the computer selects the song that you play by random. You listen to that. Your own music without commercials. What can be easier than that? You can do it while you're driving the car too. Not to stop and change the tape. 
or an A track back way back now. We used to do A track back in the early 70s, I think. Can't get any better than this, people. You people know that it's got a mate. We never had this stuff when I was young. As a matter of fact, I went to high school and took all the four years of AIDS mathematics. My, they have to do everything by hand. There's no calculators. That costs too much money for normal people like us. I had to wait till 65. And I bought a calculator for seven hours. Nowadays, you can get them for one or two bucks. We didn't have that stuff when I went to high school. You did everything by hand. Some of my pages in college physics for one problem took three pages of handwriting to show the teacher that you understand what you're doing. It wasn't an hour class either, it was an hour and a half people. There was only eight of us. We had one black guy who took that course too, Charlie, Charlie Duncan. I think he moved out east, you know, living somewhere on the east coast, up north, like around Maine or something like that. Or Brook, uh, um, Boston, I think it is around there. And there. there was only eight of us out of a, like 1,200 people in the high school. They took that car. They only take the best. I could have been a real good scientist if I had a good scholarship to go to college. I'm sure, pretty sure I could have been. We would have been smart as Bob Laser, the one who told everybody about um, Area 51. You know, I heard some stories on YouTube that even he is fake. And the government made sure to erase all his records of going to school. So everybody will think he's a fake. And I find out he really is a fake. From other stories on YouTube. You say well, those people do all these stories to make some money. They even need to make a check like everybody else. And uh, they have some interesting things to tell you people. Some things the newspapers are not allowed to tell you or the government. They don't have no rules. They'll tell you what they know. And some of it sounds like it really could be the truth. They had one uh, scientist on the YouTube show saying we didn't have the technology, didn't have enough brains back in 69 to do what we got now. And we still would have trouble getting to the moon. We never went to the moon, that's why we never went back. Since 1972, people, we never went there in the first place. The aliens put down the thing, if you travel 500 miles away from Earth, up in outer space, going to the moon or Mars, you're going to be dead from radiation belt they put up there. To keep us on the planet, they don't want anything to do with us, our war monging people around here. We fight too much, we fight our own kind. They don't do that. The aliens are so far advanced in religion, they don't can't stand people like us who low class. They want nothing to do with us. They want to keep us on the planet, away from their other places that are monopolized right in our own solar system. They had the technology people to give us a, a paradise on Earth like God made for Adam and Eve. You make the whole Earth that way. They had the technology to do that. They have the technology to give everybody a free electric bill. And you're never going to see. All because we like to fight each other. We're uncivilized. We're way beneath them people. And they helped create us. They put the DNA in us to help us to be smarter people, to be more like them. They're, they're still a thousand times smarter than we are people. And they think telepathy, it can do thoughts, transfers to other people, it's brains, a thousand times quicker than we could ever say by mouth. They're a hundred thousand times smarter than we are. They're the ones, they gave us fiber optics, so I can upload a video to people in three minutes time. AT&T's got really good fiber optics here in this apartment. You know, even if I had photos, I still be able to recognize me. And I don't think the scientists told me uh, that uh, running that story that you people, oh, they're all fakes. They just do that to make a quick buck. 
Maybe there is something more. But something has some interesting things to say, and they're not no stupid people talking to you either. I mean, these people, some of them have been through college and studied science for many years. They told me they didn't have the technology to even do that back. He said, we don't even know if we have enough tech technology to do it today. You guys don't believe in uh, uh, hollow cast machines that make a vision of something that's imaginary and show it to a lot of people. You don't believe in that. We had that before 69 people. We had that when 9-11 came around. No more real planes. It was just a picture of a plane, people. It was another Hollywood movie for you. <laughs> you don't think I'm crazy? Do you think those people are crazy? They could be telling you the truth, people. There's a lot of reasons that 9 one one happened. One thing, and those, the trade world trade center had asbestos in them. You know what asbestos is? It's the weapon they used to build a building a long time ago, causing people lung cancer and all these, and other dead things. The owner of that building couldn't get any money from New York City to have him turned down from the new one up. He wasn't completely guilty of killing all those people. But he made, I was like, he got four million dollars to make some new buildings there with no investors in them. Another reason, uh, uh, the reverse technology from those flying saucers that crashed on her, the government spent back in the 50s was Eisenhower proof. Is uh, it's true, people? There's a secret government under our cup. Anyway, they spent 2.3 trillion dollars back in when 911 came around. They had to have excuse to make people forget about that, to get them off their back. It's another reason they had 911 and killed all those innocent people, the firemen, or the people who worked there. And they had it crashed that bed in a certain place where there's certain people they wanted dead, definitely wanted dead before that happened. They would come back and expose them. They had the planes crash there. But it wasn't a, a plane that you see like a, a terrorist getting hold of one of our airlines. Those terrorists are back there in their own countries. They weren't even in the United States for Christ's sake. They're, and they're not going to tell you in the news because they tell the news people, just keep your mouth shut. Don't expose us. And then just we have to listen to them. Why? Because they have to follow the money. They want their jobs. They want the paycheck. They have to listen. You people don't understand that. Especially the little kids going to high school and grade school now. They have to talk to you. You probably even shut me down and got off this video I'm making for you. Because you don't understand half the shit. Because you're not old enough to understand. I've been around the block a few times, people. I know what to believe in that. I always believe 25% of what I hear and half what I see. I'm not no crazy maniac that believes, in, uh, believes everything I watch on TV. Why did the government have to fool us? We could have come by and they said, well, uh, we're not any better than the Russians, people. We can't send you any men to the moon. Why did you have to fake the whole thing? It's okay, so not nice and wise, but why do you have to lie to us that so no flying sausages exist? They think that we're too childish to, to handle it. They think we go wild and crazy. So. Oh, there's really aliens? Oh, God, what am I going to do now? I don't want to go to work today and make money for the government. I'm too crazy to go to work because I know there's really aliens. They don't want people to believe there's aliens and flying saucers. Anyway, they have one of the back engineers that they could be the best military force and country in the world, the USA. They don't want the Russians to have a better weapons than we do. What better to have than a flying saucer in your military and attack those people and be the number one military force in the whole world? They convince Eisenhower to let there be a certain government to pay for all that back engineering like Bob Laser is. Bob Laser is a fake people. And what about the uh, Kennedy assassination? There was only one guy. There were two or three people that carried out uh, an assassination like that people. 
that was the biggest cover up. They killed Marilyn Monroe too, uh, Jack and Kennedy's uh, uh, girlfriend. Because she was exposed what she knew about what the president told her. They killed her. And they killed Kennedy. For what's, he was exposed to people, tell the people the truth too. These people are powerful. They got lots of money and they're the secret government. They run the real government. It's not the your President Trump who runs the world. He's just a pawn in the rich per person's hand. A pawn. The smallest thing on the chessboard, people. Those people are pawns to them. The rich people run the world. Not the presidents and kings around the world. It's the rich people. Follow the money.